Don't remember much about the night of the Blitz. I woke up in a repat bed with a shattered pelvis and two shredded femur. Doc said he pulled so much shrapnel out of my legs I should go into the scrap metal business. For the next two years I passed the time teaching myself how to walk and how not to scream. They transferred me to Coastal Command. I was a Spitfire pilot and didn't like the beach so I fought them tooth and nail. The swordfish was a bit like taking your aunt to the dance on a Saturday night. She might be getting on, but she still had some nice moves. Lads, here is the situation. We have been watching three German battleships, the Scharnhorst, its sister ship the Neusenau, and the Prince Eugen undergoing repairs at the French port of Brest. Imagine our surprise when a couple of patrolling Spitfires discover them steaming up the channel, then lost them. Those ships cannot be allowed to pass right under our noses. Your swordfish is armed with torpedoes. Put them to good use and send those tubs straight down to Davy Jones. We have confirmed reports of the German warships moving through the channel. We need every available plane up searching. Danny, you are our exception. Your swordfish's torpedoes have been giving us grief. We scrambled you before the maintenance check. There's an abandoned freighter drifting near your position. A U-boat crippled her but didn't finish her off. Send her to the bottom. It'll confirm your torpedoes are working. This is A-Flight. We have nothing to report. Nothing in Sector 3. Everyone else is tearing after the German Navy and we're pulling one of our own miserable barges. It's got to be done. Torpedoes are being giving us hell. Then we'll fry some bigger fish. Control, we are beginning our run on the freighter. Keep a level and smooth, old son. Too fast or too high and the torpedoes won't engage. These things have more bloody rules than cricket. In this bird, I feel like I'm back in a first world war. Coastal Command strikes a blow for channel tidiness. Control, no problems to report. Torpedoes are fully operational. Roger. We need to locate these battleships ASAP. So far, we've turned up nothing. Proceed to Sector 5. Roger, Control. Moving to search location. Fog. There could be anywhere out there. Keep your eyes wide, Harold. It's cat and mouse. If anything with claws jumps out, we need to see it coming. I'll walk faster than this old thing. That's one of ours. Let's not torpedo him, eh? Damn it! Look! Searchlights! Let's go take a closer look. No, that looks like one of ours. Damn it! a German destroyer. Sink that rabbit. Making an attack run now. I'm getting radio chatter. If they're calling for air cover, it's going to get hot around here. What's that AA fire? Couple more in, she'll be heading for the seabed. German fighters heading toward us. Fish away. Down she goes. Control, enemy ship sunk. Good work. But that cruiser was small fry compared to those three battleships. We have to turn up those tops before they escape into German waters. Swordfish ain't no Spitfire, Harold. Here beware. You may be slow, but you won't find a more accommodating lass. Speak to me, I get off you. No, that's one of ours.
certainly the bloody noise now. Technically, the noise now is a battle cruiser, not a battleship. That's extremely comforting, Harold.
Both ships are down control. They're going under. Good show. That's a bit of history you've created there, Danny. I'll treat you to a pipe for that. I've drunk with Scots, Eaton Tops, and now Harold Greenston. You know, you're right, Harold. She's not a bad girl, your swordfish. Show you understand her and she'll take you to all kinds of interesting places. 